this week on the Anime Alchemist Podcast. I think we should just get the big one out the way. The one that like everybody low-key should be probably watching. Kaiju number eight. I hate to say, but I I, I, I just think that it kind of outperformed solo leveling a little bit in, in terms of like the hype and like what was being built up. Like I heard more people talking about Shangri-La Frontier than I heard about solo leveling. I um I, I don't I don't know, I guess I got like a super stick up my ass recently and <laughs> in like a good way. Like I've just I've binged the ever living shit stop looking at me like that. <laughs> I've binged the ever living shit out of some anime recently. Like I mean a lot. And Do you ever think about the fact that Ichigo is actually a magical girl? What? Minus, minus the girl part, like he's a magical boy. Like, huh, bestowed yeah. a Yo. power by a supernatural being. Uh huh. A power that's like outside of their normal day to day. And like he, he was been... picked. He has a transformation. He fights like things that only he can see. He's a magical girl. He even has a one specific signature move. Welcome back to the Anime Alchemist podcast. My name is Emery. My name's Gary. Um, Martin's still gone. So uh, good news. Fat Camp went amazing. Uh, unfortunately, he looked so great that he now developed a major ego. And so he had to go to another camp for that. So it didn't help. You know, massive cock, massive ego. They just they don't go right together. Yeah, we're trying to fatten him up again. It's episode 120. Is it 127? Okay, thank God. I'm going to be honest. I don't remember changing it. I changed it. Oh, okay. That's God. why I didn't look at it. Oh, okay. Okay. Appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, appreciate you guys for listening or watching, whether it's on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or maybe you're watching on YouTube, Anime Alchemist Podcast. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn those notifications on. Also, you know, leave a comment. Let us know how we're doing. Let us know if there's something you guys, you know, want to hear us discuss. We're very open to those kind of ideas. If there's something like you guys miss in the past and you guys want to see us do it again bring that up as well spoiler warning like always you guys don't know spoiler warning does get you 10 percent off some g fuel if you use the link in our description help you get some more discounts as well now let's talk about some anime yeah um so we got a lot of like i guess like new anime coming out because you know it's spring season and um me and gary have kind of co- went through i guess what seems to be coming out and like what you guys should I guess be looking out for. Well, this is more like the action shonen ask shows. Like we, we pick those because you know that's mainly more more to to our taste a little bit. But you know there some, there is a lot side, of some life in there for you guys too. I was gonna say there's a lot of uh, romance anime coming out this season, so I'm gonna be checking those out and like you know to make me feel something. I'll mention them. Um, I think we should just get the big one out the way. The one that like everybody low key should be probably watching, Kaiju number eight. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like, we've that. we've been waiting for that. Like the first the first couple chapters of the manga we all read. Some of y'all continued reading. Mm-hmm. I, I personally stopped because I was like, oh no, this is gonna get an anime. Martina, I'm pretty sure he's caught up. Oh, I bet he's he can't wait to I see it animated yeah. though, dude. It, it just the trailer alone looks incredible. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of giving me like Chainsaw Man vibes again. This very like expected series that like everybody apparently loves the manga. It's like high expectation. The trailer, like the way the way they do this like size scale and everything, bro. It reminds me a lot of Pacific Rim. Yeah, yeah which, which, I love that movie, Same. man. I wish I wish we would have got more. Like, I don't know how that didn't spawn a series of movies. If that was real, I swear you and me would drift so well. We'd be <laughs> fucking up shit. Goddamn right. Immediately, the moment they pitched that kind of idea, it was like, sign in his name and my name. We're good. I would immediately. That'd be so uh, we'd be, we'd be risking our lives every time, but I'd be, I'd be, mm-hmm. it'd be fun. We'd probably make a lot of money doing it. Oh, yeah. And Great. there's probably crazy life insurance benefits hmm? never they never covered that in the movie they don't but i bet that you you know you're probably really right they're just like his brother's law <laughs> that's probably why he was able to just afford just doing some like menial like manual labor job it's like yeah you 
Didn't think we had life insurance on my brother. We had the riskiest job That's in the a world. really good point. You see? See, you're the one that pointed it out. These are the things we don't see in storytelling. And I, I want it. The Dude. details. The details. I saw, so a while back, I actually saw something about this one. It's called Remonster. I'm guessing like Reincarnate Monster. Yeah. And it was like at the top of the list. Do you know what it's about? So like the main character has suffered an early death, but his adventures are far from over. He is reborn into a fantastical world of swords and magic as a lowly goblin. Oh my God. So okay. it's reincarnated as a goblin? Yeah, Shut yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah. up. I'm, I'll watch it. I'll watch it. And like, he like, I'm pretty sure he like levels up. I'm, I'm down. I'm yeah. already down, bro. They, they gave me... Uh, Unwanted undead adventure. I'm pretty sure that's done. You know? <laughs> yeah, we got slime back, but like, come on, reincarnated as a goblin. What's it called? Uh, Re Monster. Monster? Mm -hmm. Man, that's that's like so unsuspecting, I guess, like misleading. Mm -hmm. Re Monster. Like, I guess reborn as a monster. See, yeah, but it's like, what kind of monster? A goblin. <laughs> it's like, uh, oh shit. I hope I hope he looks like Gabiru at the start, you know, <laughs> or Kabuto. Yeah, is that his yeah, name? yeah, yeah, yeah. Go Buta. From, uh, from Slime? Yeah, yeah, he kind of <laughs> does. I'm just rolling through all the fucking names. I don't even know if I got the right one. I know who you're talking about, though. I, I'm kind of excited for it because it, it seemed like he, like, it, it kind of, like, got that slime aspect to it where it's like, I build kind of a community. Okay. I like I like Isekais guys that do that. I do, too. I do, too. It, it's, uh, it's the little, um, it's like the gamer in me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love, I love like farm simulation stuff like that. So like watching an isekai doing that or involving that stuff is like low key kind of satisfying. Because I mean, like, it, realistically, like if I got put in that situation, it's like yeah, yeah, I'd do something similar. You try to at least. Yeah. Why not? Okay, so what is this? Um, God games we play. So when the gods grow bored, they decide to spice up their uh, eternal existence by challenging all takers to an ultimate battle of wits. Of course, these deities and uh, big word Emery can't say. Okay, so basically we're going up against gods that are unfair and probably would be willing to cheat. Things get interesting when a former goddess and a genius human boy team up to, in a bid to win the game to end all the game. Okay, so it's basically gods playing playing games with like humans lives and fate and then two people come in and they're like nah we're putting it into that shit okay i mean that seems kind of cool i fuck with it I, I like i like i really like the stories where they take gods and they put them directly interacting with the world mm -hmm. and affecting it because like you know most of the time the like the god figure is like oh stay separate like we're i guess a neutral party and mm -hmm. everything going on that actually like actually reminded me something that uh wasn't on our on our list because that kind of has that same aspect uh, Blood of Zeus is also getting a season two. Oh shit, dude! <laughs> yeah, bro, they left that off on a crazy cliffhanger. Homeboy took up the 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 powers. Yeah, of Zeus after he got struck down. It's I'm dude, and Hera was strung up. That was crazy. Remember? Oh my As god, a punishment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Oh, dude, I'm I'm excited to see it because the way the way they like depict a different Greek Greek mythology mm -hmm. and like the stories of it, it's really cool. And it's like a very original story on its own. It, yeah, it is. I like I like that. It's like, you know, Zeus is kind of like this neutral-esque party. He just has a slight favoritism to his son. And like, that's only because like he doesn't want his wife got or his god wife to find find him. And like, well, it's her fault. It's her fault. He had to be protective. Mm hmm. And like, like they really made her out to be the villain. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, they did. It's like it, it sucks because sometimes, sometimes she's really not. I mean, just her rage is justifiable. Like I kind of get it. Why does the son have to? Oh, suffer oh yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, sins yeah, of the father. No, like that's right. that's the whole. No, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her okay. Her rage is justifiable. The actions she goes about, nah, not so much. Yeah, no. I, every time I think of Hera, uh, I think of uh, Hercules killing his children. Oh and yeah, his and his wife. Oh, that, oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah, because of her, like, whispering madness mm -hmm. to him. That's correct. Yeah, that's a... Yeah, 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 she's a bitch. She's a bitch. Wait, bartender, glass of God. Mm -hmm. So another, another God theme thing. It's, it's not so much what you think. It's actually very, um, very slice of life, actually. It's a, it's about a bartender who, you know, not, not into drinking, but just likes the art and the craft 
of bartending and you know like the old kind of saying is like you know sometimes you just need a bartender to talk to so like you get to see like that interaction with different customers and how like oh that's that's fun okay. yeah okay. while also like him like mastering his craft of of bartendering okay so we're yeah. gonna make martine watch this because that man, I know, I know, he, no. I know he likes his drinks, and there's, there, you know, every time I've gone over to his house, he's made me a drink. That's true. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. see, mm -hmm. it's gonna be something. He he's gonna be like, you know what? It's a weekly anime, low key. And it's you can't read that. You can't read that. I mean, you can, mm -hmm. you can. Eh. Obviously, you can. But like, if there's an anime coming out. You're not gonna go read that, right? I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited to see it because I like it's a little. I guess semi twist on like the approach to food anime. Yeah. So like you know yeah. fancy drinks, you know the you know him sh like it, the the effects they give to it, and, like the quality of like those. I can't wait to see. Like, well, let's see. That's what I loved about Sweet Incarnations or Sweet Reincarnation mm -hmm. is it's like it's cooking, it's food related, but it's like it's dessert and it's sweet, right? Ooh. So he doesn't necessarily you know rather than doing like an apple pie like he'll he'll make hard candies right oh Shit okay. like that it's, it's different and this is something similar to that it's like similar idea with a different spin it's drinks uh, you're right i'm excited it'll, it'll be interesting i'm wondering if there's going to be people like trying to make the mixed drinks that he makes mm. oh that'd be cool to see that, that might that might be fun Maybe after a few episodes come out and he learns a few recipes, we can try them. We'll, we'll like try them out. See, that that, them. that would be fun. Okay, we might have to come back with that. We one. might do yeah. that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Oh, slime. Okay, yeah. slime. Season three. I have been waiting for this season Dude, for fucking it's years. It's only now. season three. Like, what the fuck? I know. Dude, it's been years. Like 2021, I think Dude, was the last hero season. Came out. Was like season three. Had had like three seasons, maybe two seasons at the time. Yeah. No, no. Cause like I swear fucking, the last season... fucking Goblin Slayer just came out. Mm-hmm. Oh god, yeah. Dude, that was a while ago. Mm-hmm. That's like 2020 2019. Or, yeah, twenty nineteen. Yeah, okay. Damn. Wow. We've been waiting way too long. Way too this. long. This like five years. And like, like, I'm excited to see Demon Lord Rimuru. Yes. I want to see how, like, how is that going to affect the world around them? Because, like, he's just going to have a day-to-day -day life. And it's just like, uh, that dude's got, like, an ominous vibe to him kind of thing, you know? Oh, dude, how's he going to go to the capital now? For real. I, I'm just, I'm just curious. Like, he, he straight up basically took out a country to, to, like, prove a point and then revived his country. So that that alone, like after something like that happening, news of that spreading across mm -hmm. the world and like knowing like that's the first monster, like different race, diversity city. Mm -hmm. And they turned around and the leader of that did some shit like that. I'm sure, you know, there's going to be a really big ripple effect. Oh, yeah. So that's what I want to see. I want to see what's going to happen. That, yeah, that's going to be exciting. I hadn't thought about that, but no, 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 you, that, that, that makes me more excited. I'm not going to lie. And I want to see the buffs everybody gets. Cause he, he just hit demon Lord level, which means obviously all of his minions are probably like the people who are oh, his, yeah. You, you know what I mean? His subordinates are going to get power Big boost. Dude, so yeah. like, I'm, I'm waiting to see what our little goblin boy can do. Well, what the, <laughs> like jumping in and out of the shadow. Mm -hmm. you, uh, usually right. Uh, what's his damn, uh, wolf, wolf rider. Thing. Yeah. He's like the leader of them, isn't he? Yeah. 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 That's cool. I can't wait. I cannot wait. I think, wait, isn't there a new episode already out? Yeah, it came out on April 4th, April 7th. Okay, so if you guys are hearing this, there's already an episode out. There's probably already a second episode out. Go watch that shit. Okay? Cannot recommend it enough. It's one of my favorite these guys ever. Like this one and um, So I'm a Spider, So What? Like kind of gave oh. me the same feelings. Ah, it's just like the the world building and so i'm a spider so what like made things really interesting mm -hmm. that's another one i'm like waiting to come Me back like too, where the bro. fuck is he is he's new for that i never thought that i'd be like fuck yeah spider anime but like <laughs> spider anime 
<laughs> I hate spiders. This had a crazy name, so I wanted to put it on there. <laughs> I kept seeing this, and uh, it, it, did you actually like see anything of what, what it's about? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's um, essentially about a uh, like an older couple. They're uh, they they work on a um, on like an apple like farm essentially. So they just harvest apples. That's like their farm profession. And um, um, essentially, I'm pretty sure they find like a golden apple and they they eat it and it makes them 20 years younger okay so the title of the series is grandpa and grandma turn young again mm -hmm. that's interesting what i i mean i i guess i guess I, we're gonna get to see like old people looking young and doing old people things and like slice of life form mm -hmm. they've been married for years so it'll probably be like some cute romantic shit like i hope so like because i mean That'd be kind of like a fun, like wholesome, nice little watch. Like, you know, at a certain point, you know, it's like, like, you know, the body can't keep up with like ambitions and like, like fun, I guess. And so oh, it's like, like second opportunity, but like still have all of the same knowledge. Like, oh, like 17 again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the anime. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, it's pretty much what this is. Yeah. I, I, well, I'm, so, definitely, so, I'm yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm, I can't wait it. to check it out. Yeah, you, you know, you know, I'll give everything a shot. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely gonna give this one a look. That's why I put it on there. I thought that'd be one you'd want to watch. Yes. Um, okay, so Shangri La Frontier season two has been confirmed. It was confirmed on April Fool's Day, but don't be fooled. Um, October. Mm -hmm. October is the release date of that new season. So I can't yeah. wait. Yeah. It, dude. It was fire. It was so good. That was. Uh, I, I'm just, I'm just upset that there's not more. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it was probably one of my favorite like, animes that came out this season. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it was it was unexpected to be as good as it was, and like, uh -huh. I, I hate to say, but I I I, I just think that it kind of outperformed solo leveling a little bit in in terms of like the hype. And like what was being built up, like I heard more people talking about Shangri La Frontier than I heard about solo leveling. Mm. And like, yeah, you know, the way I got convinced Martin to watch it, well, I was like, there's very, there's a lot of solo leveling esque type of fighting. You know, he uses two daggers and it's like close, agile fighting. I was like, all right, bet I'll probably watch it. The anime is insane, or the animation's insane. And he checked it out. Mm -hmm. right. That's that's a hundred percent true though. Yeah, no. Like it it, it kind of delivered what I was wanting out of solo leveling, in a more fun way. Mm -hmm. And I, and that's not to say solo leveling wasn't wasn't interesting or fun or good, right? Like solo leveling was really really good. But with Jin Wu, we're surviving, mm -hmm. right? With uh, Sun Raku. Bro, we're we're pioneers. We're just playing. The we're, game. Yeah, we're on the frontier, the yeah. Shangri La frontier. Like we're we're just exploring. It's about the adventure. It's it's more fun. Yeah, like we're seeing locations, interacting with things, like testing physics and like game mechanics, seeing like what he can get away with. The the crystal scorpions alone were crazy. Yeah, and the way he farmed them, <laughs> his thing, like dude, genius, right? Then you have solo leveling. Man is screaming. Yeah. In pain, in life or death situations, like struggling internally about like, am I weak? Should I quit? Yo, what? Why am I even doing this? They show that man's Kool-Aid constantly. That, that, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like they're two very different experiences. Mm -hmm. And like Shangri-La Frontier delivered what I wanted it wanted at a solo leveling with like all the fights and the action and stuff but like in a more fun way okay okay or like with solo leveling you know it's a little more of the never Just... give up always try to improve do do a little more every single day like no matter what you, no matter what you do you can always accomplish what you're what you're setting out to do with time and effort mm -hmm. you know like that's that's the whole kind of ideology i guess behind it the message yeah 
Yeah, so uh, like that's that's what I enjoy about it. It's like seeing Jin Woo go through this. It's like kind of like a little. It's like watching Goku. Mm-hmm. Right? A, little, a little inspirational. He even he even hit that like Goku did. I guess with like Shangri La Frontier, like you said, it's it's more of an adventure, but like solo leveling, it's more just uh, a life story. Uh, like the life story of the weakest hunter. I mean, he's surviving. Yeah, yeah. Like sometimes surviving is not fun. It, true, it's not. Like, it, man, they kind of even show that, like, in that like twelfth episode, like how they were talking about like some of the survivors from like previous ones, like you know they're scarred from like surviving the uh, the double dungeon. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, or, or no, I'm talking the uh, the uh, the island. Oh, Jeju Island. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just waiting to see the fucking orcs, bro. <laughs> I want to see that's gonna be in the next season. We got a rise. Mm-hmm. That was fucking awesome. That's a cliffhanger to uh, uh, as any to leave it on. Mm-hmm. And I said it whenever we reacted to the episode, the last episode. But if there's a hole left from watching solo leveling and you haven't watched Black Summoner, go watch it. It's 25 episodes. It's dubbed and subbed. Mm-hmm. Watch it both ways, however you want. But go it's check it out. Really good. It's, it's fun. Um, we talked a shit ton about solo leveling, but we didn't say like the second core was also confirmed for fall. So that's something to be excited about. Um, especially because like I'm just I'm just gonna like ask it, Gary. Like, what do you think like a second core is gonna cover up to? Well, I mean, we got because I think next would be like the red gate, the red gate incident, and then the then orcs. Comes out. Oh yeah, the orcs would be pretty soon, wouldn't like they? Like raiding, raiding her school, Ajin's school. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we got the ultimate finesse when he when he sold off the gates. Mm-hmm. We we got them establishing themselves as like a guild. Mm-hmm. He's gonna fight. He's gonna fight that dude's brother when he comes out the red gate. Oh no! Remember he leaves. Oh, that's our our boy. Our boy's there. That's right. You're right. Um, what's his name? Wu Jin Chul. I think so. He then, was a sleeper. He was a sleeper. A rank, but he went. He didn't care who he was going up against. I think after the the red gate, he goes back to the to the demon tower. Yeah, he goes for a second time, and I think and he, he, and he meets that one bitch who yes, becomes a relative. Yes, yes. And then yes. he gets the potion. Um, n- no, that's not until wait. No, that's not until the third time. He goes. He goes back like a total of three times. It's like he has to like clear the like first couple of floors, and then like once he cleared those floors, it was like, oh, now you have access to the top ten. Or like it's like clear the first fifty. Cool. Like you've unlocked this key to go to like the next fifty or something. It's something like that. I'm, I'm positive he goes back three times though. So he went first, beat Cerberus. He'll go back. I'm pretty sure after the red gate and then he goes back a third time and that's when he's like dumb shit powerful and that's when he get I don't I think it's that third time that he gets the uh the wyvern okay well see I kind of I kind of go based off of like okay so when he get he the next thing he gets mm-hmm. is it the orcs or the ice bears he got the ice bears, ice bears first, first right yeah okay he so the, the next arc is going to be the red gate arc right mm-hmm. which means we're going to deal with um the ice elves not just the ice elves um but kim kim uh oh he's he's gonna get iron yeah the yeah. dude he turns into iron yeah but then it doesn't it was like one of his everything first, like, gets out about him at that point because he can't hide his abilities so what they uh, so like we're, we're gonna get the red gate incident then he's going to become famous in mm-hmm. Korea. Uh-huh. Right. And then uh then we get the probably the raid like the the gate oh, opening the- up in the, in the school with the orcs. Mhm. Mm-hmm. And then after that it's the the Japan incident with the giants, right? Um I think I'm trying to... It's or... 
he goes to America because his dad. Oh, dude, they they could cover a lot. There's a lot that they could cover. I think honestly, they'll probably cut it off. They'll probably cut it off after Jeju. Yeah, probably. Was it 12 more episodes? Pace. Yeah. It's been uh, it's always been a fast-paced story. I'm trying to think. Like the, the pacing of the of the anime really does match the pacing of the manhwa. It does. Super quick. You're like, we're here already? Oh yeah, we're here already. I forgot, like, yeah, he, he has like the title Shadow Monarch Ball. And then it's not a long time. He's gonna come out of that gate. There, you know. Oh yeah. He's gonna come out of that gate higher than an S rank though. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like Dong Suk. He's not ready for it. And then we're going to get him to fight Thomas Andre. I, I can't. I can't. I can't wait for him. You guys don't. Because he's going to body him. Dong Suk. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to body Thomas Andre. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want to see. And I want to see him give him Kamesh's daggers and be able to try to try to resurrect it and all that, too. That OK. Like yeah, that they're, they're going to be able to cover that. That's what I'm saying. I um. Uh... I, I don't I don't know I guess I got like a super stick up my ass recently and <laughs> in like a good way like I've just I've binged the ever living shit stop looking at me like that <laughs> I've binged the ever living shit out of some anime recently like I mean a lot and uh, like I guess I'm like the reverse of Gary where like he'll watch everything as it comes out me it's like the moment like it's all collective and I can binge it that's when I'll like eat all of it and so there's a couple things that like me and Gary have both seen and would like to discuss because they're fucking amazing. And I doubt Martina will ever give them a try. So we're <laughs> going to start with Classroom of the Elite. Holy shit. That was not what I was expecting at all. From the show? At yeah. all? Or the main character? At all. Oh my god, no. That dude is fucking crazy. Ayana Koji... Koyenji. That yeah. Super he's, genius. He's he is a genius in his own right. Have you seen the white room? Yes. Okay. Yeah. He grew up in a facility meant to cultivate geniuses, even with like the genes of stupid people, mm -hmm. pretty much. Like they were trying to prove a system that like created smart, intelligent children. And like he spent in his his entire life in this facility. But you don't know this. You don't know this. You find this out like sprinkled throughout the series. Mm -hmm. Right. But you see him pull some crazy shit and like that's why he grew up in a facility like basically being designed to be a genius. Like you'll ha you'll see moments and you're just like, wow, he's such a great guy. And I promise you within like five minutes, you're going to be like, wait, what did he say? He he's an asshole. Like, that's why we love him. And why. over time, he learns, like, kind of, like, how to feel and how to care for people a little mm -hmm. bit more. Because he's, like, super cold and calculated. Right? He, yeah. Like, he's just trying to accomplish goals. People are pawns. We're starting to see him a little, yeah. a little bit past yeah. that. Yeah, but it's, it's cool. The series is basically kids, like, you know, in classes trying to compete to be the best mm -hmm. who's who's your favorite like character in the class um, um you know class i guess our class yeah 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 class well i think they're class e currently uh in season three. Oh no wait did they go back they wouldn't go back down to, to d didn't they yeah they yeah, did yeah, 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 yeah. after after the new uh now they're sophomores mm -hmm. um i or juniors i guess i uh i can't remember his damn name off my head. The super flashy genius blonde. Kohei. Yeah. Kohei. I think his name is Kohei. Um, or no. Koenji. Koenji? Is I'm it Koenji? Sure, I'm pretty sure it's Koenji. Oh, oh I was wrong. It's Ka uh, Ayana Koji Kiyota. Ka. Hold on. I got yeah. it. No, it's Koenji Kohei. Yeah. I love him too. He's, he's one of my favorites because he has the whole yep. attitude of like, I'm a genius. I am I'm a I'm a genius like no other, but it's up to me if I decide to use it. Mm-hmm. 
Like he's not doing shit unless he wants to. He doesn't give a fuck. Oh, it's great. Like you see him do events, and it's like just doing certain things can cause like massive like repercussions to the team. And he'll just basically throw the team under the, like the bus within like I don't know twenty four hours. Yeah, he's like, fuck that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's just like, I don't want to do this, and he's like, I'm out. It's like, uh, the fuck, man. It's funny that it like. Here's an example. I don't think this actually happens, but there's like, uh, like say there's a swimming competition, right? And he already he already did his workout for the day, and he swam, and they like put him in that because he's the best swimmer, and they needed him to win so they could win. Otherwise, somebody's gonna like get kicked out of the school. He's selfish enough to be like, "Fuck that! I'm not gonna overstrain my muscles for you. I already mm-hmm. did my workout. Y'all are gonna have to deal with it." But yes, no, Koenji's the best. Yeah, I love Koenji. Do you have, a, like, a favorite person throughout the school? Um, I like Kushida, actually. Kushida, um, the, the two-faced bitch who's like, <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm calling it how it is, bro. I like her, though. She's like, crazy. She's crazy. And, like, when she gets involved in stuff, she is a wild card. Oh, yeah. I don't know what to expect. Anything could happen with her. Yeah. Because she knows everything, and everybody knows nothing about her. Mm-hmm. Ryunji, Ryunji was cool. I, I like it. I like him, yeah. But but controlling people with violence, you know? That backfired. Yeah, I know because <laughs> you came in and beat everybody up. I was like, I was not a, like a fist fight in the freezer. I wasn't expecting it to go that hard. He beat the brakes out them. I was I was genuinely just like, oh, this is this is menacing. Like, I these are fucking supposed to be high schoolers. Like, I I, I didn't know it was gonna have like a like I just really thought it was like a battle of wits. And yeah, smart. And it's just like, oh no, he's beating the shit out that kid. Yeah, they're no, all like no, like merciless, mercilessly to prove a point. Mm-hmm. Like, look at what you made me do. Yeah, hey, like that was the crazy part. That see, that's why Ayana Koji is my favorite. Like he just, yeah, he's, he's too cold. Yeah, even in the more recent seasons, he's just like making very calculated moves. Have you seen the most recent episodes? Mm-mm. Oh, bro, they're doing, they're doing some crazy shit. Like as students doing doing what they're trying to do, it's crazy. Wait, okay, so wait, 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 what have you seen? Uh, the last thing I remember is the chess match. I saw after that. Okay. When they okay. meet with the staff, the two staff members, two teachers, to tell them something. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Okay. No, okay. it's it's great. The, this show has like oh, like 4D planning. It's crazy. I do remember like I remember how it ended. You know, Principal? like what he did. Yeah. Yeah, I do remember that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, they're getting ready to shake the hierarchy of who's on top. Yeah. And get rid of their principal. Shit's gonna get fucking crazy. Yeah. I'm I'm excited to see like what what's going on, but I'm worried the season's gonna end soon. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> the way Gary pitched me this other one, like I'm not gonna lie, I forgot about it until I was watching it and then I was like I'm 90% sure this is how he pitched it <laughs> he told me I found you a new mommy goleon and I was like that's a bold statement to make there buddy and I'll tell you something okay I am a ride or die sis goleon okay I love that woman this lady is a really fucking close second rose oof and I'm talking about from um, the wrong way to use healing magic. That anime is fucking awesome. I I did not expect anything that came out of that. Dude, There, it, it just like takes turns. Like the Black Knight being what the Black Knight was. I was like, what? What? Mm-hmm. That? Okay. That's cool. Like, it's, it's fun. It's an isekai, mm-hmm. right? And in this isekai... Our main character got he gets isekai but by accident like, it's accidental you know there's two heroes that are like getting summoned to that world and he was just borrowing an umbrella from them because he mm-hmm. forgot his umbrella that day and it was raining 
And like they're like student council, so they're there late. They were leaving late. He was there late. They lent him an umbrella. They're walking together. Isekai. So he just got caught up in it. They're like yeah. people he wouldn't normally interact with, he interacted with, and on that day it just happened. To, he got Isekai. And like when they like get to this new world, they uh, they go, like they have to find out like what their uh, magic affinities are, and. The two heroes, they like, they got cool abilities. It, it, you know, but then like everybody shit themselves when they found out that this man had healing magic. Oh, green. Yeah. Green, green magic. Yeah, his, which, his, yeah. Gave green. Yeah. You, you find out it's healing magic. And I mean, obviously it's healing magic. Yeah. And like super it, rare, super rare. And like immediately, like it, what that means is like, if you have that, magic you immediately go under the like the uh what is what does she call them essentially like like their squad oh, the rescue squad or, yeah, the rescue squad no rescue but squad. that wasn't what the king was trying to do that's the best part so like how you get introduced to rose is the king is like oh you have green magic and everybody's making a fuss and he's like keep it down like if she finds out She's mm -hmm. going to bust in here and take it. And by the time he's able to finish that, she's gone. Mm -hmm. She's taken <laughs> it. You know, and it's called the wrong way to use healing magic for a reason. E yeah. Right. They, like they, they use it to essentially push themselves past their physical limit by mm -hmm. using it on themselves. Right. So she puts him through rigorous training and like you, you get the, the whole, I guess, demeanor of like mama mongolia or sis mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know uh and then but but the best part is like you actually get to see why she acts that way oh yeah oh yeah that's that's the interesting part it's like i haven't had a character like that that like you get to you know look under the hood and see like why they operate mm -hmm. the way they do what made them act like that no right? yeah no i agree yeah and her being so serious and like so hard on them like it fits so perfectly mm -hmm. for what they're doing and like what she's trying to lead i i love the series love the character i like watching the main character grow i like how uh the two heroes like they both have different objectives like one is like fuck it i live in this world i've always looked forward to like recreating myself as a person this is a new new start for me right and then the other one's like i want to go back home dude like this kind of sucks. Things we're set. Like I'm, I gotta fight in wars and like train with magical and crazy abilities. Like this kind of sucks. You know, he he's like reluctant to yeah. even go into that war. Yeah. Right. So having having characters with like those different motivations too, I, I, it's, I, it's fun. I did like that, like because it wasn't so much just him. You like every time they showed them, I was like, ah, oh, yeah, that's right. Like low-key like those are his those are his homies because like out of everybody else in the world like they came from the same place and like it's crazy because literally before they went to this world they hadn't had more than fucking two minutes of conversation together ever now they're closer than ever mm -hmm. dude she low-key simping for him yeah i love it it's it's great i feel like you're so right and our boy's like stop leave him alone <laughs> leave him alone like the other friend he's like leave him alone leave him alone he's 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 <laughs> they just try to protect each other it's funny the bromance is great i but do love the bromance for him they're they're fucking adorable the three of them they really are oh my god and what was um what was the name of the bear i forgot he had that bear he has a bear that just loves hanging on his back he's super cute mm -hmm. it's it's a good show. It's, it's, it's a, a really, really good, good show. show. It's a lot of fun. I'd I'd give it a watch. The animation is really good too. I'm excited for something new for to or come out of that. I hope they get like a second season or a second four or something. Yeah, me too. Me too. Because like it, basically the Demon Lord's army is attacking to try to like keep staking claim on human mm -hmm. land. And they're like on the last frontier of, as a kingdom and they're defending and like now maybe we'll make headway and we'll mm -hmm. see get to see something different exciting yeah it's super exciting um now the other one and i don't know how i went i don't know how i went two seasons without knowing about this one or watching this one well okay okay i'm sure, I, I'm, sure I'm, I'm positive gary told me about it 
Okay, but I don't know why, like, this one I put off for so long then. Um, and that's um, Moonlight Fantasy. How do you pronounce it for the name? Tsukimichi. Tsukimichi Moonlight Fantasy. And um, I'm pretty sure we've talked about it on the podcast, but, like, this is fucking amazing. I... And it takes that, like, isekai concept that we really like so much. The building things up. Mm -hmm. It's cool, though, because it's, like, it's a demon plane. It's, like, his own pocket dimension. Yeah. So it's, it's like, nobody can affect it unless he lets them in. Mm -hmm. Or, like, they're crazy powerful and are able to break it. I haven't seen something like I'm just assuming. Yeah. yeah, Something like like that could happen. Most of the people underneath him are the strongest things in that world. Some of them. Some of them. Some of them. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, (laughs) it's a story about a guy who's getting reincarnated into another, or not even reincarnated, like isekai into another world. Mm -hmm. He's just being pulled out of his and pulled into another one by the goddess of that world. Mm -hmm. And it's because his parents, they wanted to go to our world. Right, so they leave their world. They come to our world after like being heroes and whatnot. Right, and what they owed was the thing that was most valuable to them. Mm-hmm. Whenever the goddess decided, and it ended up being their son. So she, you know, she reaped the reward. Mm-hmm. But came right out of their world. Yeah, but the god Tsukimichi comes mm-hmm. in and is like, "Look, I have some power to like get involved and." St- kind of give you abilities and like stop some f- stuff from happening because he's like very devout I guess and like he's very um, in tune with himself as a Japanese I guess n- national yeah or like a very in tune with his culture yes as a Japanese person right and that that, that includes like the deities and stuff mm-hmm. that he had worshipped so that like kind of comes into play Tsukimichi like bestows him all this power and it's it, it's funny because he's not expecting it. He's like, oh, yeah, I can barely make fire. And he shoots the fire out. And just boom. He's fucking crazy. Just massive explosion. So it's like, oh, he's crazy OP. Right? So fucking crazy. It's, it's, it's a really fun story. He meets a dragon who can turn into a girl. And he like, now, I'm not going to say domesticates her because it makes it sound sexual. It's nothing no. like that. They're like very much friends and allies. It, she's like an advisor to him. Yeah. She's been around for a really long time. Well, they remember it's when they make a, they make like essentially like a, a familiar contract that like whoever has the bigger power level, essentially giving the most essence, the opposite takes on like uh, traits of the other one. Yeah. So all these people he's made deals with, like they've all had grown to make human features. Yeah, but still have, retain like, all their original power. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's fun. Like he even renames this like this dragon mm-hmm. in this world. She had her own name and everything. He like renames it. And, like she gains more abilities, and she has this ability to like create a pocket dimension essentially. So that becomes his his land, mm-hmm. right? And the the thing about the goddess is she was fucked up and she was like hey you know what you're ugly i don't want you as a hero you're ugly you look like the pigs and orcs out in the in the barren lands so that's where i'm gonna put you and i'm gonna make sure you can't speak human tongue you can speak everything else i'll give you that ability just not human tongue yeah she's yeah. called common she she yeah no i think the way she did it was she told him straight up she was i think she was like but i'll do this for you you can speak every other language in that world other than common that way you can't you can't talk to my precious humans <laughs> she's right a- she's she's a bitch she's like they're too beautiful and blah 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 for a pig like you to be there plus i already have two other heroes i don't even know what need you yeah so she just like banishes him into the barons uh, like the outskirts of the world where there's just monsters and like barely anything can survive because there's no resources and he has this demi plane and so when he comes across civilization struggling to survive he 
lets them into his demi plane where there's tons of resources and they start building up a settlement and community. Mm-hmm. It's it's an enjoyable watch. It's a very enjoyable watch. It's like it's like a combination between like you get the fantasy, you get the slice of life, you get the like the actual battle and stuff like that too. There's war. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's it's phenomenal. It's, it's a lot of fun. I I highly recommend it. I'm kind of like. Again, I'm upset I didn't start it sooner. It scratches a particular fantasy edge. Yeah, it really does. It really does. It like it keeps it simple because you know it's a pretty simple formula. But like, he's not afraid to be the bad guy, and he you know it's like a different approach on it. Now, his goal is to take the goddess down because she slighted him. Mm-hmm. So he's like, no nah, fuck. Oh, you're the goddess of this world. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Guess I'll become a god of this world and kill you. I mean, like on some shit like that, and that's like I'm waiting to see that build up. The way he's, the way he adapts to his his abilities and how quickly he grows is terrifying. Mana matter. That was nuts. He made his mana tangible and like wore honey. like armor. Yeah, it was like honey. It was weird. And like, or like, have you ever, the Pokemon Jellicent? <laughs> <laughs> It is like that. The final form of Solacis. And like he can use it and then it makes him like dumb shit stronger. Like like makes him his like already crazy abilities. He can do more of them faster, more efficiently. It's also like a straight up armor and he can penetrate through shit. And like it it can block stuff. Mm-hmm. Like somebody threw an attack at him and he just like hit it and knocked it away. <laughs> it's yeah, you you were right with saying like it does it get that fantasy itch. It's it does things like a different way. Like it does the typical fantasy tropes, but when it comes to the execution of them, that's where it's unique. That's, mm-hmm. Like that's where I, what I really enjoy about it. Man of matter. I wasn't exp- I was expecting some kind of like oh you know, you know he he's got these special abilities now, or mm-hmm. like oh you know he's got this like super quality like higher higher grade version of mana right but it's like no physically it just he manifests it it's It's, so thick and powerful like it's basically an aura that wraps around him it's different i like it um now the one anime that we uh consistently always keep up on but for whatever reason we always like to save it for last because i think this is where the most tangents come from one piece oh does somebody want to join in on this conversation i'm excited right now i have never seen you reach for that fucking where what are we at, where, what are we at? 50. okay that's fine bad, bad. um left it out too quick, too quick. so i think like last thing we kind of talked about was like rob lucci showing up to egghead island not so much landing there yet um, and so like the last like the last two episodes basically have been. Did we? Um, I yes. don't even know. Yes. I don't even know if we talked about that because you were the one. You were the one that pointed out that like they're gonna get close to the island, see Sunny, and be like, "Hey, yo, there's a oh, Yonko yeah, right. here." Okay. So, I mean, you weren't far off. Now I see what the incident is, though. Uh huh. Like a the, lot of but the, but the thing is, is like low key, this one wasn't caused by Luffy this time. No, like this was Luchi going out and being like, I'm gonna do what the fuck I want, I want to fight him. Yeah, but didn't they say it was because of his devil fruit taking over? Like, you know, I mean, no, 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 no it said that's surprise. He was like, That's surprising. He awakened it typically when a, you know, a zone devil fruit is awakened, it overtakes the user's personality, and they- so it wasn't like. Lucci no no Lucci Lucci was still like very much present just how Luffy is like kind of like Kaido like Kaido was like a, like a Zoan that was like awoke and like that's why he had like them crazy clouds and them crazy ass abilities like I think Luffy was going overkill with the gear five I was like really like no 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 Rob Lucci asked for it okay if you if and- he like he, he straight up he was like what's up with that straw or with that wanted poster and it's just like 
<laughs> you want to see it? You want to see? It's like, like I said, what's up? So you trying to run the ones? And he was like, bitch, don't talk to me like that. And it, I, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're right yeah, though, like, they're just antagonizing each other. Luffy's like, so you so you hit her. You fucked her up. You did that to my to my homegirl. She fed us. That's it. I'm standing she on business. Fed us. Now, I'm homie. standing on business. Mm-hmm. She fed us. She gave us food. Like, I'm not gonna lie, for a second I was like, I was like, okay, bet. He's gonna like warm up to something. Like I thought he was about to go gear second, but then the moment he like took off the coat, I was like, Oh damn, Luffy! Isn't he standing in gear second pose? Yeah, like he, like he, like landed like that, and then took the coat off, and I, and Super bro, landing. The like, I like that they they played up him going back into gear fifth. Yeah, with the the, the drums and like and stuff. Yeah, that was that was really fun. I like seeing like how how much his personality really like. I guess blossoms when he's in that form like he's just having fun and like it makes the fight so goddamn entertaining yeah yeah it does it it really does like some people might complain and say it takes the tension out of the fight but I I enjoy just that he's like he's out there having fun come on come on like the one that under the ground and then where the fuck did that come from? Are they using the cartoon noises? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, like, I just, I don't understand where Rob Lucci kind of thought he was going to square up against the Yonko. I don't know if this was like, hey, man, like, I want a rematch. Isn't Lucci awakened? So isn't he, like, strong I, enough to, like, take on Luffy? I mean, maybe he thought that he could try. That's true. I guess... I, I guess like like nobody really knows well except fucking um oh god I forgot his name already uh Vegapunk but like nobody really knows what that devil fruit is and like what it really means to like fight it white warrior yeah like unfortunately like like Rob Lucci thought like oh this is just the guy who bought B Kaido like I, I can do a uh, like a, a rematch but like no you're you're fighting uh Okay, like a kind of like a prophecy, essentially. Like you're gonna get your shit wrecked, homie. So do all Zoans when they're like awakened or like really perfect and stuff? They got those little cloud thingies. I think it's that's what Kaido said. He was like, "That's exclusive to Zone types." What's going on so with your? So Kaido double wasn't fruit? awakened. Kaido had him. He had he had a cloud boa. But only in his dragon form. I'm, Not didn't in he his have? Hybrid. He didn't have one in his hybrid. No. Mm, probably it's only in like a certain form. I mean, I think. I feel like I feel like we didn't awakened. see the real awakened version yeah, of it. We just saw like really good mastery of the three forms, and then like, you you know how every devil fruit has that like second stage it pushes a little farther, mm-hmm. but it's not quite awakened. Like mm-hmm. Venom Demon, Gear t- Gear Gear Second. Yeah, there's other ones. Oh, um, there, there are other ones that Caesar. Heat Heat dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might have been filler. Yeah, but but you you get what I'm saying. Yeah, like yeah, those, yeah. yeah, Caesars, the Shidokuni like form. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, even um, uh damn, what's his name? Um, uh, fucking not Al Capone. Um, Beige. Yeah, Beige. Like, it, like he had that whole other like ginormous like mobile fucking castle form. Oh, uh, Drake. Um, huh? You know that's a really good question. What is X Drake awoken? Probably not. Hmm. Do you think Marco's awakened? Probably not. I ain't seen. That him. is just insulting to the second I, I ain't captain seen him with no white beard. That just no. He didn't have a boa though. Like clearly, that's meant to signify like you've you you're awakened as a zone. It's a, but then why does Lucia black flame thingies and then like someone like Yamato because had because white. his pattern is black? I think it has to probably do with like it's aesthetic. It's probably just aesthetic. Like his, his he's a leopard with black patterns I, and markings. Why wouldn't his boa be black? What is it gonna be like yellowish orange? I 
thought it'd be white, like Yamato's or like Luffy's or something. But Yamato's hair was white. Luffy's hair was white. All right, maybe it is aesthetic. I don't know. What if it's like a past, like you awake, wait, you awaken your devil fruit, but like on what on what you side are out. you on? Yeah. yeah. Like are you uh, like Zoro? You know how he's a little more demonic mm -hmm. and like evil with how he approaches but battle. He doesn't have a devil fruit. But if I don't know. I know. But I'm saying if he did, right? So say you know taking that path like Zoro, you'd like, probably like adapt Luchi. Black. Yeah, like Luchi. So then Sanji would maybe, have a white. Bow maybe it's like a yin yang it. thing. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be interesting, like a yin yang kind of like system coming in with the awakenings. Which means like like what if. I guess, like, what if there was, like, a, a black version of what Luffy could have been? Isn't that Blackbeard? Huh. Gravity, the ability, or not gravity, but, like, Darkness. you know, suck, suck stuff in. Basically gravity, but black hole, the ability to oppress. Yeah, that can consume a sun. And yeah. a star. And the sun got Nika. But crazy, now the Straw Hats know, like, what the fuck he is. Uh... Well, they most saw his them, head. Them. No. Like, Zoro was out. Zoro still, okay, okay, yeah, still Zoro has not Brooke seen. Have, yeah, I have no idea. Which would be funny, because I'm just waiting for him to see it and be like, would you take this seriously? And Luffy would be like, fuck that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I can, I'm not going to lie. I like. I really think that, like, CP0 is outclassed. 100%, bro. They They are literally running away. From the yeah. from the seraphims, right? Okay, yeah. okay. First, okay. Hold on. We we we're, <laughs> let's get let's get into that. S bear, what the fuck? Why it does it have flies. his abilities? It has. Why does his... it have his abilities exactly? Like, did he remake the devil fruit? Did he make a copy of it, like a proper copy? Because clearly of it? he's able to do that. The failed was the fact that it was pink. <laughs> Which is still so crazy. And then his theory. His theory that people, I guess, I guess, I guess, so the way I I, I hear it, I, I heard it, it was like people in the past, either their will mm -hmm. or their wishes were so strong that like it desired like a, it, uh, it an evolution for devil man. fruit. Yeah. So, so would you say it's kind of like, 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 because I'm thinking like maybe they operate kind of like cursed energy does, right? It's like, you know, people have this fear that's mm -hmm. like so bad over this thing that like it eventually creates a curse. Mm -hmm. And then that curse becomes a cursed womb and, you know, does all that in the evolution process. Like say there's this want and that want is, is there and it's by everybody and all of that culminates and the energies okay. culminate into like this devil fruit which then embodies a fruit provides abilities like yeah you know what i mean and so like oh so, so I, it's like sun god nika's fruit manifesting over and over the way it has is because like people have always wished for freedom mm -hmm. and that's that like he is the warrior of liberation mm -hmm. it, it makes sense yeah no it does there was a want, and so, like, I guess, not so much Mother Nature, but I guess the world had to give a balance, and it delivered, like, that devil fruit. Well, there's also people who, like, want terrible things, like Blackbeard. Blackbeard's a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. He just, like, he wants to be in charge of the world, mm -hmm. not necessarily for good reasons, <laughs> right? We don't, we don't necessarily know his full That's motivation God. either. And let's see that's still Dude, like we don't even mind. know the conclusion of that fight. Oh, between him and Law. Yeah. What do you mean you don't know? Of course Law kicked his ass. That sounds like a hopeful dream. Wow. So you don't think Law is strong enough? No. I'm I'm, I'm low key worried, honestly, because like it took two to take down a Yonko. Mm -hmm. Blackbeard was a Yonko alone. Mm-hmm. And like his like I'll say this, okay? Like, yes, I think Law is very, very capable, okay? He is a very powerful individual. I will recognize Doesn't that. have the stamina. I'll kinda of give you that too. The 
uh, the biggest issue with going up against Blackbeard Doesn't is play. his crew is massively lacking in comparison. Well, I don't know. We saw his crew was like kind of really shining when it came yeah. to fighting at sea. They're full. Yeah, 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 at sea. But like they were on land. Now. Now and, like, they're on land. Remember, they're counterattacking though. Mm hmm. But I, I feel like they kind of held their own pretty well. Fucking. Uh, we and Sachi, or Penguin, and Penguin Sachi, and Sachi. coming in with the, the like sword techniques and like water techniques swimming all crazy fast and shit that was cool they were like moving like fishmen okay yeah i just they're, they're not they're not like the crew of a of a yonko yeah i agree i agree 100 yeah, when you look I, at kaidos and like big moms and even shanks is like they're all recognized like the look at luffy's did you see beppo use sulong no at any point no oh, I, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, like we had like a young no moon. There was I no feel like moon. a young there was when there he was, was there. One. Yeah. When he was at Onigashima, he was in Wano when there was but a full moon. They never moon. zoomed in on Beppo. You don't ever know. I mean, that's they never zoomed in on Beppo. You don't know. Maybe he was taking down some scrubs. You never know. Wait, but he was on the ground. He was there. He was there, Captain. When they when they beat her, he was there. Yeah, but don't know what he Man, did that room was so intense <laughs> yeah it was like her shouting silent that was so cold um i just yeah i, I can't i can't see a lot of walking away i'm sorry plus he has like a very like desirable devil fruit and clearly that's what blackbeard's after like really fucking hot commodity Devil so are you saying Luffy's gonna have to sa save him again or something? Mm, like damn. after Mingo? Maybe. I mean, that'd be crazy. So CP Zero is attacking the pirates, a Yonko crew that shouldn't be there, and then Kizaru's on his way to Egghead Island. But like CP Zero, outfit. yeah, it's pretty cool. But <laughs> CP Zero was ordered to assassinate uh, Doctor Vegapunk. Doctor Vegapunk. And Luffy and the crew are going to help protect him. Mm -hmm. So it's starting to become a, a big national incident. And then we got the, um, not they're not pacifistas, they're seraphim. So we yes. got the seraphim, and they were being commanded by CP0. But then they Uno reverse carded whenever Sentori Maru got told by Vegapunk, you owe me because I, th I helped you out of poverty. <laughs> and so he was like, damn it, now I got to be a traitor. So now he's fighting cp0 and he has commands overriding them uh -huh. the last thing we saw was him get fisted <laughs> and he got it looked like he got taken down right and they ordered but my question is just because he got taken down doesn't mean that they're gonna respond to the new orders mm -hmm. right because it's whoever's at the top mm -hmm. right I still, I, I still have a feeling that they they're might still... have to bring a Gorose yeah. into play. Because I mean, there's still Vegapunks there. Yeah, and I can, all I, the can I can have see override. it. I could just see it them, them having to make that play because it's like, fuck, okay. Yeah, you know, this is the downside of employing other people to make our shit. It's like they could take control of it. Okay. Yeah. The like, government's got to keep. World government got to keep their their pieces in in check. You know what I just found out? What? Or what I think I just realized? What? Because, like, you know, I've been sitting here saying that, like, no, like, obviously, like, the Luffy versus Luchi fight, there wasn't going to be much contest there. Like, like fighting CP0, old news for them. You know who's going to be fun for Zoro to fight? That fucking Seraphim Shank, uh, uh, Hawkins. Or oh, Hawks. that would be level. cool. Miyak. Yeah, that would be really cool, actually. I guess you think the, the Seraphims have, like, any kind of like humanity or soul or anything? I don't know. It see sometimes it looks like they're expressing some kind of like emotion a little bit, but like it's not often enough. They're still very robotic. Mm -hmm. I just I I don't know. They're clones. They're clones that are engineered. So I, I really had, don't know. Blackbeard had trouble taking on the B Hawk clone. So does that mean Zoro would struggle a little bit with it? 
Well, they're all Lunarian. They all have Lunarian DNA. Mm, yeah, see, that that's the thing. Zoro's gonna have, like, a lot of people to cut down because they're huh? dark skin. <laughs> God. Why, Gary? I'm cutting that. You're cutting that. But, like, he no, he has, like, battle history, so, like, he knows, like, how to approach fighting a Seraphim. Like, yes, he bought, he beat King, so, like, going forward, like, he's gonna see that and be like, Dark skin, black wings, fire, bad. Huh. And it's gonna be gonna be light work. But like I, I don't I think honestly the biggest challenge now would be that uh S uh what is that, Hawk? Yeah, the S Hawk. That's probably gonna be the only I'm scared of S Bear. S Bear is pretty fucking terrifying. It's cute. It is cute. It is cute. He looks way Super cuter than he cute. should. It's <sighs> Ooh, but don't forget, we got a wild card in the inbound. Mm -hmm. Kizaru. Nah, there's another one. I'm t I'm telling you, man. Fuck, there's no way. There's no way Kuma isn't on his way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He he popped himself. himself yes. Yeah. Out of there. That's right. He's on his way there. There's just, no way. There, yeah, you're right. That is a wild card. I can't wait to see what happens with that. Man, things are getting crazy, bro. Uh, yeah. Things are getting really intense. Okay, so I believe Gorosei member is going to have to be bought there. Mm -hmm. um, probably by the Marines to back them. Akainu's pissed. <laughs> yeah. Because CP0 is making their own moves. Mm -hmm. And to kill Vegapunk, of all things, right? So do you think Vegapunk is like low key kind of joining up on the crew? B e yeah, probably. Wow, I never thought we'd get a like, man joining. We get Wi-Fi on the on, on deck, bro. Oh. On on deck, we get Wi-Fi. Robin can read on a tablet now. Fuck a book. I mean, fuck, you make a good point. I think more, maybe not so much the crew. Nami can steal people's credit cards. After she invents credit cards. Damn. He's going to join, like, the fleet, I'm sure. He's going to have, like, a bunch of, like robot dude it's gonna be the mech it's like the mech fleet yeah yeah oh my god he tricks out the entire fleet dude that would be insane like that's a that's a kind of a game-changing asset for luffy to like have on his side dude the they, they like... have multiple too you mm -hmm. saw all the different tiers of the robots they have they're massive mm -hmm. and they're designed after the ones that fought at, or attacked mary jaw oh, yeah and didn't stop till it ran out of energy not because it got destroyed. Hmm. So like they're definitely powerful. I think that that robot's gonna have some kind of like future play. I hope so. I really, I really, really hope so too. One Piece is getting insane. Yeah, things are kind of at a boiling point. The question is like, where do we go after this? I'm assuming probably Elbaf. I hope. I'm, I'm assuming so. Probably Elbaf, but maybe, maybe not. It. Uh, again like we're just barely getting into the mix of this and like yeah but it's fun to speculate yeah yeah well no i'm just like i'm like i wonder how much stuff's gonna one of my favorite things to kind of like think about is like how much it the outside world's gonna change just while they're there oh and because of this that's the thing is like it is really a shake-up because you've you have to think the pacifistas have been a big force mm-hmm for the world government yeah yeah right and losing that on top of losing the warlord system and that's obviously why they got rid of the warlord system because they have these clones and they can just command they the them yeah mm -hmm. they can just command them they'll do what they say anyways that makes a lot of sense and now they're losing that. that that firepower Ooh. so they have to come in here and make sure they keep that island they keep those the, the those assets Especially if, you know, they're going to keep the system running the way they want it to. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. But Luffy, being the Yonko, being the one who's, like, really going up against those who have been oppressive, the world government, happening to be on that island is definitely not a good look. Like, Ooh. you saw what happened with Sabo. Just the tiniest inkling of information that could, like, shake the world up. And they got rid of that fucking island. They got rid of the entire island. 
right? So who's to say something like that isn't going to happen again? Oh but the God. difference is we got internet and we got live broadcasting mm. on Egghead. So there could be residents who like broadcast it to nearby islands, kind of like uh-huh. kind of like how they did with Dress Rosa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the information's out there, right? They're going to get live leaked information. Holy yeah. shit. Then, oh man, that's going to change the world like fucking nuts. I can't, dude, uh, dude, I, this is going to be some crazy shit. I'm just I'm just expecting like things to really pop off after this i know i know martin keep saying that too like dude it's been crazy it's been crazy man it, it's been crazy have have we ever like played with the concept that like luffy would like loki overthrow the government before he found the one piece yeah they're in the way yeah i mean like <laughs> right like they're in the way he might as well it makes sense I'm i'm fine with that like I'm fine I, I get that. That, that that would like lead to like you know like world government's kind of disbanded like I, I can kind of go finish my journey it's like as he goes to you know find the one piece it's like oh that's what Blackbeard steps in it's like okay okay and I'm sure dude like I'm sure Blackbeard's still hiding something big as fuck up his sleeve I'm terrified Okay. Okay. No, we're we're gonna wrap this up. We're gonna wrap <laughs> this up. But I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you one question. Okay. Before we wrap it up, how do you how how do you think it would go down with the empty throne? Do you think Luffy's gonna destroy it and pull pull a you know dragon at the end of Game Game of Thrones? Yeah. Or just leave it. I think he's gonna destroy it. I could see that. Destroy that whole concept and just be like, the world's free. Live as you want. Do as you want. Nobody should be in charge of everyone. Exactly. Like, as long as you guys are, like, treating your people right and everybody's happy, we good. Okay. Let me be out on the sea and hear, you know, hear, catch wind at some islands fucking about with, you know, not feeding their, their their lesser individuals. Oh, you'll see some liberation, sweetheart. I don't know. What if what if he puts Sanji on that throne? Because he's the <laughs> kindest person he knows, and he can't let a person starve. And he's like low key royalty, isn't he? Vince Smoke. I mean, right? huh? He could put Sabo on it. Sabo's technically royalty. Nah, he never wanted that anyways, bro. True, he didn't true. want to be an aristocrat or do any of that shit. Sometimes it's about responsibility, though. Nah, fuck responsibility. <laughs> Luffy wants to be free. <laughs> That's not what fair, it's about. He just, I could see him being like, just... You do the job. Yeah. Sanji got that this. That work? Everybody happy? A- anybody got problems with that? All right, cool. Sanji's first act would be re- uh, reenact uh, Prima Nocta. Do you know what that is? No. Um, it's an old um, way where essentially um, before a woman could be, I guess, married off, um, the king had the right to the first time. I and try to make that, that no. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, I appreciate you guys for listening or watching. <laughs> Alchemist out. Alchemist out. God damn, that is crazy. I could see something for you.